Hello, 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 my revivers. Today, guess what? Your girl's gonna be sharing my famous chocolate chunk, chocolate cookie recipe. And we're gonna just do basic chocolate chips for the purposes of the video, excuse me. Um, I usually like to put nuts and do special things in it, but guess what, guys? You can do whatever you want with this recipe. You can add white chocolate chunks, you can add caramel, you can add pecans, walnuts, whatever, M&Ms for the kids. But we're gonna do it basic, and all I have here, oops, excuse me, is two cups of all these chocolate chunks and chocolate chips. So you can see the difference. The chunks are the underneath. I don't know if y'all can see them. They're squared off. And let me show you, those are the semi-sweet from all these nothing special. And this is what I've been making my cookies with. If I cannot find Ghirardelli, all these have been, has been doing really well. Okay, so let's get started with what else we have. So we have the two cups of the actual chocolate chips. Then we have in this bowl, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This is the bowl that I'm gonna sift my dry ingredients. We have two large eggs. We have, here is, it looks like regular salt and pink Himalayan salt mixed together. That's what it is, if you didn't know. Um, just so you won't think it's something special. It's just regular Himalayan salt, and I mix my salts when they get low, so that's what you have in that bowl. And that is this salt here, this concoction with the salt is only a half a teaspoon of salt. Then we have one cup of brown sugar. We have, a cup of butter, real butter from Aldi's, not um, anything else. This is real butter. So if you do this and it don't turn out right, I'm telling you that's real pure butter from Aldi's, salted, okay? And then we have um, vanilla, which I'm gonna pour that in on my own because I can kinda like, you know, gauge it. And it's gonna be two teaspoons of that. We have a little less than an eighth of bacon powder and then we have here right here this is bacon soda and that is a teaspoon of bacon soda and we have over there a fourth of cup of white sugar and that is what you are going to need so let's get started and get these cookies made so I'm basically moving all of the wet ingredients out the way because you want to sift together all of your dry ingredients and I always put it in a smaller bowl so that way I can sift it so this is all the flour going in and then I'm gonna set this bowl to the side because this is gonna be the main bowl and then I'm gonna put my you don't have to put the sugar in some people do but mainly the bacon soda and the bacon powder now you don't have to use both of these if you like more of a flat cookie a flat chewy cookie you can go with just the baking soda now I like a flat cookie but I want it to rise just a little bit because I'm putting so many chocolate chips in it so I definitely put just a little bit of the um, bacon powder so you can gauge that on your own if you want more of a fluffy cakey cookie put a teaspoon of baking powder instead of um, a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda makes stuff spread, baking powder makes stuff rise, so just so you know. And then I'm just gonna sift this, and for video purposes, I'm not gonna bore you sifting this, but if you don't know what sifting is, it's basically you wanna get all the air and everything out of it, and as you see, it's falling to the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to pause this and get all of this through this sifter, and then I'm gonna come right back, okay? Now this is what I have after all that sifting. I mean, you can shake it till they get smaller and smaller, which most of the time they do. Or you can take and press because sometimes it just needs a little work. But sometimes with that salt, you see it, it's a little bit grainy and thicker. So I just get rid of that. All right. So we are done with the sifter. So the next step is to mix all of the wet ingredients in another bowl. So we're going to start with the butter we have here. Pop that right on in that bad boy. Like so. And what I'm trying to do is not have to do voiceovers and, and just get one full video without it being chopped up. It's so much easier for me to load that for you guys. So yeah. So we got the butter and then we're gonna add both sugars. So we got one sugar and we got two sugar, okay? Then we're gonna cream it together with our mixer and let's get these bowls out of the way. Hold on one second. OK, 
Okay, the bowls are on our way. So now we're gonna cream this together with our mixer. And this is a Hamilton Beach mix mixer that I got for a housewarming gifts. It comes with a, a bowl, just like a KitchenAid, but it's the Hamilton Beach um, version. Guys, I had this thing over, oh my gosh, six years, and it's still been rocking and rolling. Actually, it's been longer than that, isn't it? Because we've been here three. Yeah, I had this for about, about six, seven years, yeah. So let's cream this up. basically that is the consistency you want it now this is not melting the sugar it's just creaming the sugar with the butter so you're gonna see granules of sugar inside the mix so don't look for no creamy consistently consistency like a pudding so now we're gonna add one egg at a time let's see if they'll all right they did good they get did good okay <laughs> Now for number two, bam, and mix. Overmix, and we're gonna put two teaspoons of the vanilla in here. Bam! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's my trick to getting it to stop and release the stuff from it. So that is it. Now it is time to do what? Do what? All right, so we're gonna add this into here. And you don't wanna mix it all at one time. third of it. So you're going to do it in thirds. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right. Disaster. And I will be sure to leave the ingredients in the description box. If I forget, make sure you remind me. So yeah, we need to turn this up higher to make sure we get all this stuff in here. Now, this actual recipe that I'm making, guys, is going to make, like, almost four batches of cookies. Now, you can break it in half. You can break it in thirds. However you need to do it. It's really going to be hard to break it less than half because you got the eggs. And I don't know how you're going to do it with the eggs unless you probably get small eggs. Maybe if you get small eggs. I don't know. But if you think about the size of a large egg yolk and a... Small egg yolk, they're really not, there's not a 50% difference, so I don't know, I don't know. See, I'm trying to get all the way to the bottom of the bowl. Make sure it's all mixed well so that we can fold in this chocolate. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. Let's keep this stuff off. Turn it on slowly as I release out the bowl. And you see the stuff will come off of the actual things instead of pulling it out with a whole bunch in there. So hold on, guys. All right. So I got my spoonula. And I am going to, by the way, I got this from Target, and I love it, love it, love it. I told you guys that like a million times. 
make sure everything is nicely incorporated because this is the dough. And if you're not a chocolate chip person, you can do all types of things with this actual dough. So now, bam, yes, God, yes, God. And so before I get going, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. And then we're just gonna fold these up and then get our cookie sheets ready. And y'all, it's that simple. It is that simple for you guys to create these for your family, bring them to a dinner party, an outing or something where people, I mean, who doesn't really like chocolate chips? Chocolate chip cookies. So many people like chocolate chip cookies. So that is that. They are folded and now it's time to put them on the cookie sheet. Let's get these in the oven. So, all right, guys, I decided to go with a bigger cookie. So, I'm only going to be getting about a little over two dozen versus almost four dozen cookies. So, just wanted to let you guys know that if you wonder where the other cookies were, that's because I made them a little bit bigger this time. And then, after I get them all done, I like to add a little more chocolate chips to the top. And then, you're going to see my little M&M cookies right there that I made for Rizzy because that's her favorite along with the chocolate chunks inside. And so, guys, yep. Yeah, Add what you want to make them your own. If you guys would like to see these bad boys done with just the baking soda so you can see what a flatter cookie looks like, leave a comment below. All right, guys, so after they have been sitting for a little while, let me show you the results of the cookies y'all see these cookies it's like a thicker consistency and look at those chocolate chips omg i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys thumbs up this video share the video and let me know how your cookies came out now i don't know if i put it in a video but you want to put them in the oven for about a good um, 12 minutes you want to put them in for a good 12 minutes and just keep an eye on them till you see that they're like browning You don't want them too dark and what you seen was me dropping them dropping them I used to work at Burger King years ago when I was really young and when we would take the fresh hot cookies out We were told by Otis Bunkmeyer to drop the pan and let it like I don't know what it does But it does something to the cookies because when you don't drop them, it's like it's a different consistency I don't know but these are chocolate chip cookies and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Later Gators.